Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Flagging a little bit today. I had my COVID jab last night, so oh, do I feel rubbish this morning. But we're still here, we're still kicking, so we're still here. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me. I'm gonna try and do as much as I can today, but we are flagging a little bit. So uh, I'll try my best for you, and I'll see you in a bit. We're not gonna be doing anything too intense today. So I'm proper lagging, I'm getting worse at first. Ugh, I can't even talk. Um, so, we're going to go around, we're going to do the normal jobs. Um, we're going to do the spraying, the checks, the poo patrol and stuff like that. And we're going to check on everybody. And I believe our new little cinnamon's getting collected today. So, um, that should be really good because then they'll be able to take her home and feed her at home for the new Sunday. So, uh, that's a perfect little plan for us. So, uh, we go around, we do all our jobs. And then uh, we'll have a look at the animals while we do it. We'll check on and do our little jobs for the um, red tailed boa. We've got a sprayer for humidity, and we go around check if she's done any poos, and then uh, just check how she's doing. Hello. I think she's right back there in the bushes. There she is. Hello. Looks like she's doing really well. So we'll give her a spray, and. Uh, we might get her out and do a little bit of handling. So remember, you never spray the bulb. If you spray the bulb because it's so hot and this is so cold, it shatters the bulb. One day I'm going to set up a little uh, mock jig sort of thing, like a mock tank, and we're going to spray the bulb and uh, show you what happens. So uh, that'll be another little experiment for us to do one day. We do it for science to see what happens. And then um, we'll do it as well, one with a cage and one without a cage, and we'll see the difference of spread of glass. So uh, that's another thing we can do as well. So uh, and that's a lovely little spray for it. So we get her out and see how she's doing. Hello. Nut food. Look him out. Why don't you bite? You can come out. Come on then. It's feeding day tomorrow, so I don't want her to accidentally think I'm food. You gonna come out, darling? Come on. Move the little rock a little bit so she's not squashed. No, don't you bite. You're going right in the hole. Come on, we want us to say hello. There she is. So just gently pick her up. There we go. Hello, my lovely. Hello, how are you? Look how rich her tail colours are. Oh, wow. Doing really well, she is. So I'll, uh, I'll put her back now, and then uh, we'll be all good. So I'll put her back, and then uh, just wanted to give her a check over. we put her rock back where it is, because she likes hiding in her rock. And then uh, we can leave her to it, and uh, we'll give her a feed tomorrow. Sorry about that, we had a customer come in, and he thought I was talking to him when I was talking to you. But we're okay, we've still we've got to have a little look at her. I would have been a bit longer, really, um, <coughs> but we had a customer come in. Um, so at least we got a little bit of a look at her. She's doing absolutely fine, which is great. Absolutely stunning colours. So um, we'll give her a feed tomorrow. We might go up a little size because you can see she's getting a big gill now. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll raise her up a size and then uh, we'll move on and have a look at our next snake. We've got to do the same for our granite spotted python. And today I should be making more labels. And hopefully I'll spell it right this time. So uh, we'll, do one, we'll open it up and we give it a spray. I'll also go around and do waters in a minute as well. We, uh, even though they've got water, we pour out all the old and we put some nice fresh in there. Because I've noticed, I don't know why, but as it slowly starts to evaporate because of the heat and stuff, it almost gets like a slimy layer inside. So it's, uh, yeah, there's like a slimy layer at the bottom. Yeah, 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 I'm a look. If I could look at this, you'd be able to see it. See all the bits? That's like the slime that collects at the bottom. So that's why every day, see it? 
It's weird. I've never seen it before. Well, obviously, I've seen it with the bowls, but I've never seen it in like a glass of water or anything like that. So uh, we make sure that every day the water gets emptied and put fresh in. Carry on doing our spraying. Got distracted. And I believe she's just under the bush. So that's where she likes to live. She's a little bush wookie. There she is. Oh, are you shedding? Hello. Hello, you're all blue. Come on, you've just gone round the bush. Come on, where's you going? Come on, we want to say hello. There we go. So we bring her out. Look how blue she is. Well, he is. So he's just going into shed. He's gone really, really blue. Obviously, so I'll see if I can get a better angle. I'm going to give it a focus on you then. Look at you. It's all about to shed. She's gone all blue. And you, darling, you've gone all blue. Where's she going? Hey? You having a little smell about? So hopefully, it looks like she's going to shed in the next couple of days. So, uh, we'll keep an eye on her. Check the shed for eye caps. And we'll be raring to go. And you, darling, you're lovely. It's feeding day tomorrow as well. She might not feed because she's shedding. So, uh, that's quite normal for the snakes. Because what it is, it's almost like us having a belt on. So when they're, no, you can't come this way. So when a snake has reached the max size for the skin size it's got, um, that's when they shed. So um, she is actually at the max size she can get for her size of skin at the moment. So normally they would shed and then it's like us undoing a notch on the belt. She then has a little bit extra room so she can eat and grow that little bit bigger. So she may not feed, but she might do if she's quite food orientated like this one is. She loves her food. I'll show you as well the little tank we've been doing. Do you remember I put the plant in the top so it would um, use some of the, the nutrients and the fish poo and stuff like that to thrive and it would keep the tank cleaner. Um, doing really, really well. So I'll show you how much it's grown. It must have grown at least three inches and um, the roots have literally gone mental so I'll, I'll show you all about it and then uh, show you how much it's grown here it is our little aquascape so um, we've got little chili rasporas in there little tiny minute petite fish um, so they're doing really really well which is really good because I like them they're one of my favorite types of fish to be fair um, but we need to do a filter clean on there today and show you about the plant so I did move the plant because I put it on the filter side and the roots were trying to wrap around the filter and we need to get the filter out. So well, I moved to the other side where the heater is, where we most likely don't have to mess with the heater very much. Um, all we'd have to do is just turn it off if we needed to do a water change. So uh, I'll show you the plant now and how much it's all growing. Here's our lovely plant. Look how much it's grown. When we put it in there, it was that big. And she's doubled in size, she has. She's bending over towards the light as well, obviously, from the from there. So she's bending up and over towards the sunlight. Um, and if we look here, look at the root system. So we go around and have a look at the other, around the back. Oh, sorry, plant. Sorry, plant. Shut it too much. There's the root system at the back. Doing really well. It's spread quite a bit, to be fair. It's doing really well, it's going to nitrites and nitrates all out of the water and, uh, and thrive, so that's really good. So I'm happy with that, it's just a little experiment and it's gone really well. Oh, we've got a big job today, we've got to test that fish tank. So that big fish tank we had come in, we've got to fill it up today and uh, get it all plumbed in because there is some marks on the glass. 
and the uh, gentleman who's buying it wants to see if uh, when it's full of water how it affects the view of the tank so uh, we're going to fill it up for him today see how we get on and then uh, if he likes it he's going to purchase it literally I've just put these on loose now so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't leak while we fill it up because of course I've got the down pipe so uh, we start filling it up and then we carry on doing the jobs on that little tank so I need to do the filter uh, while this fills up okay so she's filling up we'll leave her to it and see how we get on because I want to do the filter I'm also going to do a little water change as well that also that then gives us water to wash the filter in so uh, we'll do a little siphon get some water to wash the filter in top it back up and then uh, put the filter back in and it'll be rare to go then and get some bit of flow in the tank because the um, we don't have a bubbler on this tank so the flow of the filter disturbing the surface tension adds oxygen to the tank There we go, we've got plenty of water now in our bucket. So we need to nicely lift this bad boy up. Okay, we have to move some of the stuffs. Move some of the stuffs. We have to take this off actually. Glass off to give us more access. I should just be able to come straight up now. Up, 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 up. Come on. It just needs to go up a little bit more. Come on. Oh, I might need two hands. Got him. So we're taking it apart. Needs a little bit of a rinse. So there's our sponge. So we get that out. Give that a rinse. Like so. We've got to give that, give that a good clean. And I'll put it back together. Lower it back down. Okay, slowly, because we don't want to knock the rocks. Don't want to knock the rocks, knock the rocks, baby, knock the rocks, knock the rocks over. <laughs> okay, so I think that's about right there. So we'll top it back up now with some treated tap water, um, and then we are raring to go. We always do it like this, we don't want to disturb any of the sand at the bottom and stuff like that. So I'll just spread it on the rocks. Like so. Now I've topped it all back up, put the lid back on. Um, just going to turn on the filter, see if we've got some nice flow. Oh, she's going like a champion now. So I want to turn this a tiny bit if I can. Do I? Yes. So I don't want it hitting the glass if I can. So I think that is lovely jubbly and our fish and plants are very happy now. So it's going to be a little bit stirred up because of course I've just been doing siphoning and stuff like that but that will settle down now and the fish will be nice and happy. Thanks filling up now. We've only just got to the first little um, notch now where it's going to start going down into the filter bit. I mean it's, it's looking okay. I will give it a clean and a polish. Um, See how we get off. Leaking, we're leaking, we're leaking, the filter's leaking at the bottom. Oi, 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 it's leaking. Fixed it, I didn't have the clamps on the thing, it's right clamped down. I'll show you. These were up just a little bit and I've managed to get them right down flat now. 
and lock it in and it stopped the leak. Oh, so let's dry all this up. <laughs> we fixed it. So I've carried on filling back up now and we are lovely jubbly dry as a bone. So uh, we let that carry on now, let it fill right up and then uh, we can get a good look at what it looks like and how the glass is going to work. Because there is a couple of marks on it so uh, we want to be able to see if the glass makes it, either enhances it or washes them out so you can't see any of the marks. So uh, that's how we get on, see if he likes it. We're going to catch up the cinnamon royal python because she's got to go to her forever home. They're here to collect her and look after her. So we've got a nice little transport tub ready. I believe she's under there or under there. Oh, she's not there, she's under the log. There she is. Hello. We know she's improved. Look, she hasn't gone straight into the ball. So she's doing really, really well. And then now she's going into the ball. So she got a little bit scared, but she didn't go straight away. So that was an improvement. So we put her down in a little transport tub with a nice little bit of tissue. Keep her safe and snug. Put the lid on top. And then she's wearing to go. Right, so she's pretty much full. So we've got a couple of mil left, but it doesn't really matter about that. The amount of pressure that's in there now is going to be the same if we add that little tiny bit. So we need to check the joints, we need to check there's no seepage, there's no leaking, there's no nothing. Oh, looks like we've got a tiny bit from somewhere. Not here, I think it's the pump again. So I'll check that, we'll figure out what it is. I think this pump, because it's not on, it's slowly starting to seep. So uh, we'll check it all over again, make sure it's fine. And then uh, hopefully, at least the tank's not leaking, that's the main thing. We can deal with the filter leaking, that's nothing. Lifted up, cleaned all that, so we've got no more seepage from here. This is fine. See, that's not leaking, that's all fine. So I believe there's a little bit of a stream coming down there, look. So what I think, the seal on this isn't quite perfect. So we're going to take the lid off and uh, check all the seals, give them a clean, and hopefully that will be the job done. If I can get it unclipped. Come on, unclip. There we go. So I'll take it off and we'll have a little look and investigation. So he's come in, he's seen it, he's happy, so he's had it. So next couple of days he's going to come collect it. So we're going to have to, uh, I've just got to check the seal on there, but I'll do that another day. Um, drain it all off. And then, happy days, he's coming to get his tank. So, woo, that was worth doing. We did a good job. See how Mr. Crocodile Skink's doing, because he's just there. Hopefully he doesn't run away. There he is. You need to do your water bowl, sir. It's all dried up. Looks like a cricket. We'll put some crickets in for him and he might have a munch. Look at these, buddy. Don't run off. Put some in, but he's done a runner. He's all the way over the back. There he is, there's his back there. Right. There. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's got... Come on, buddy. you got dinner. you got dinner to be eaten. Where am you? Come on. There he is. Up you come. See, we've got bugs about. See? I'll we'll get this bug. Come here. We'll get some more. and we'll put some in for him. So he's going up the back. So hopefully we'll be able to coax some of these crickets up there and we might be able to see him feed. Okay, come on, Mr. Cricket, you gotta go further up. A bit more. Keep going. Okay, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. It's right there. Come on, buddy. He's not doing it. 
Here's it's in it. Try and coax some more up. Come on, no, this way. Come on, everybody. Got to go up towards the skinky. There we go. We've got another one going up next to him. Wonder if he's going to have that one. See, there it is, buddy. It's right next to you. Whoop. I think he's too interested in me at the moment. Too interested in me. Anybody? Well, we put loads in there. Last time he fed, he was in the tube. Um, we can, uh, oh, he's doing a runner again, he's doing a runner. We'll leave him to it, I don't want to stress him out. We tried, but I'll do his water, and then uh, we'll leave him to it. Got some friends here today. It's my little cousins, Harry and Phoebe. They've come to look at the animals. So we've got them a snake out. They've got the clown royal out. He's very nice, isn't he, Phoebes? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you like him, Harry? Yeah, he really liked it. He went around my neck. He did. He did go around Harry's neck. He but Phoebe's got him now. Doing well, isn't he? He's a good boy. Yeah. Ah, oh, they're good cousins. They're good little cousins. <laughs> so we're going to put him back, and we can put him back? Yes. Yeah, we'll put him back, and he can go back in his tank, and they can look at some more animals. Bye! <laughs> hey everybody, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for today. I'm feeling a bit down, but I'm doing a better now, I'm feeling a bit better, so but that's all I've got time for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, she's up there. And if you want to join the tribe and become one of the members for the YouTube, there's a link in the description below. It helps support me and all the animals. Uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye!